people, 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 people. Care passers, suck passers, what they do. Welcome to Jamaica Dancehall Source, your source for dancehall and our entertainment and news. Now the first thing that is popping in the news, it is called So the Father, So the Son. So them do the Father, So them do the Son. Now I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Raytown and people war has broken out in Raytown for the longest time. I am speaking about in East Kingston. Now the latest victim is a wannabe Dan, a man that claims that he wants to run the place. His name is O.C. Pogo, official government name Anario Cornwall. He is 34 years old, like I said. Now people, the other day, some men running at the premises, and this is his picture right here, and this is his common law wife, before that incident. It is said that some gunmen running at the premises kick off the door at about 2 a.m. while the couple was in their bed sleeping and basically blaze him up. He was taken to the place of recovery. He did not make it. However, the wife, she made it. She is still battling for her life. Now, people, like I said, this youth, he is involved, his whole family, everybody a gangster. His father, whose name Tika Blade, he was also taken out. He wanted to be the Don, a bad man, a shatter. In a real town, he was taken out. So the father was taken out. Years later, the son, the same thing. Now, people, I am going to let you listen to the reaction of the sister of Pogo. May I talk about Anario Cornwall? Listen to her reaction, and it tells you that. These people, they think that it is normal for what is going on. These people think that this eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, is going to work. However, when you're gone, there is no reset. There is no coming back. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. Brother, them kill you. Them kill you. Them kill you. Them kill you, my brother. Them kill you. Them kill my brother. Now, people, like I said, that's a sister's reaction after she went in the room and see her brother basically taking his last breath. We are talking about old name head. We are talking about all sorts of red splat upon the wall, upon the floor, upon him and all over the place. And you understand that this is YouTube. So, therefore, I cannot just show anything for your satisfaction. So I am just explaining what is going on in other video because, like I say, it's their policy, YouTube. Now, people, a lot of times it seems as if these youths in Jamaica don't understand that crime does not pay. And especially broke crime, it not pay, it pays less. Because the truth and the fact is that a lot of times, you see these youths, them say them a gangster. And the only thing that they have to show is some clothes. Sometimes, them don't even have a car. And if them have a car, it is not even a decent car. Me not talk about no Benz. Me not talk about no Bima, no Jaguar, no Bentley. Nothing of the sort to say, well, at least I am taking a risk. And I see some sort of proceeds. Of the crime that I am doing, I see some sort of rewards, some sort of thing where me can say, yeah, at this me a bad for, at this me a the shatter for. Now, people, this is my disclaimer because I know that whatever I say, it is always scrutinized. I am not justifying the action. I am just saying that should in case you want to do some sort of crime, at least see some sort of reward. However, I would highly recommend that you don't do any sorts of crime. You find a job or you find some sort of hustle. And you make money the legitimate way. So me just as I said though, in a these garrison, a lot of these persons we say them are done. The only thing that they left when them left this earth, when them gone to the afterlife, some clothes, some Gucci, some Fendi, some shoes. And most of the times what they left is a bill for the parents to pay. 
I am speaking about the final send up because the truth and the fact is that a lot of times when these youth lose them life because of foolishness, it is the parents that have to find money. It is the parents that have to borrow money. And sometimes when they borrow money, they can't pay back. So therefore, the trickle down effect, they lose them own life too. So people at the end of the day, this is stupidness, stupidness, stupidness. Because they are not making any sorts of money. All they are bringing is problem to themselves. All they are bringing is dead to themselves and destruction to them family because people sometimes when them get rid of them them come back and them get rid of the family because them say say yeah we take we get rid of the bad ones are there for the little simpleton them in the family we are talking about the mother and the father and the granny we can take them out easy like one two three so people may just I say at the end of the day badness it does not pay at the end of the day like the father like the son point blank and period so anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the St. Catherine police, they are looking for a man, a taxi driver that allegedly jump over the fence of a 16-year-old scholar's. Now, people, based on the information, it is said that this incident occurred in Linstead. The taxi man had passengers going to Uatan. After the rest of passengers exited the vehicle, the 16-year-old alone was in the vehicle. And it is said that he took the 16-year-old somewhere along the Linstead bypass and the S-C-X-U-A-L-L-Y jump over our fence. Now, people, 16, taxi man. We see that the taxi man's name has been calling up lately upon all sorts of robbery, all sorts of abduction, all sorts of BS. So the question that I have to ask is this. Are they running cab or are they running afoul of the law? Because the truth and the facts is that in the last couple of years, we hear a taxi man name a call up all over the place. Especially as it pertains to jump over people's fence. Especially as it pertains to stick up. So people, the question that I want to ask is this. Who vouch for these taxi men when they apply for any sorts of license? Are they registered with some sort of official body? Wherein them are run them record. Wherein everybody knows which cab is associated or linked with what person. Because the truth and the fact is that they could easily identify this driver if that was the case. However, we say that it is a big free-for-all, a big coronation market as it pertains to everything in Jamaica. The responsible bodies, they are not doing their work, so therefore people pay the popo and they can do whatever they so choose. However, in this case, we say that this man in take with a 16-year-old and people, I don't know the circumstance, it kind of sounds a bit weird because the truth and the fact is that a lot of these school girls and people, this is my disclaimer, I am not saying that that is the case. In this case, me just I say it is a possible scenario. A lot of times, a lot of these school girls, a lot of these teenagers, they are in relationship with these taxi men because they want free ride, they want joy ride. And people like them say, whenever you want free ride or joy ride, it could enter destruction. We are speaking about the part of bad. So people, in this case, we see say, this taxi man is wanted by the popo and hopefully the popo catch him because we see say, once they start this thing, they think that it is a normal thing. So therefore they continue unless they put a stop to it. We are talking about the popo. Unless somebody put a brakes on him. We are talking about on his taxi and his jump over the fence career point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now the next thing that is popping in the news it is called it happened again it happened once more again and i am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called brownstone i am speaking about incident and where it is said that a 15 month girl, she was beaten up all over by some dog, at least five dogs. Now based on the information, it is said that this incident took place at about 5 p.m. on Tuesday. 
And it is said that the liquor girl stepped outside and when she stepped outside to go play with the other kids, she was attacked by these dogs and people. You know the history. Based on the information from the popo, it is said that she is in very serious condition. The father's account is that the child is under drip. The child get bite up from him head to him foot. The child is basically in very bad situation and people again we see that it is the dogs that are doing this and if we remember there was a case in which a little boy he was bitten so badly he had to be rushed overseas to do all sorts of surgery and people even after the surgery the youth is in a very bad condition so people again we see people don't learn again we see irresponsible persons dog owners in jamaica and again we see children are the victim or a child is a victim and people based on the information it is said that maybe about two weeks ago in in um saint anne a six year old she was also mauled by a dog so people unless these dog owners decide to take responsibility for their animals or unless the government or the relevant authority decide that they are going to charge them and lock them up this is going to only continue sad to say point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like we say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up